All right, and welcome to a quick review on the Gourmia Electric Pasta Amazing Pasta Maker. As you can see, I pulled it just out of the box. It's going a little faster so that you can get through the whole review without a problem. As you can see, it's all very easy to disconnect from different parts, which I'm glad for because it's easy to clean. Right now, I'm pulling out the different measuring devices that it, that it came with, as well as the five different pasta pieces. As you can see, I'm now connecting it back together. I put in a, a rather small spaghetti noodle die disc, and now grabbing the cord. Uh, it is a little short cord, but that's okay. I chose the recipe offline, and I went ahead and went with it, added some flour, as you can see. The top it actually has a, a nice little slotted section for adding the liquids, and as you can see, now the device is starting to extrude the pasta. I kept this in real time so that you could understand exactly how kind of slow it goes or quickly. It pushes out quite a, quite a bit depending on which recipe you use. It makes for a, a quite an interesting little device. And one of the reasons I thought it was great was the thought of um, I did adding uh, flavors to the pasta itself. One of the problems with trying to put water, trying to get your flavors in the water, is that it doesn't really sink into the, the, the pasta itself. But with different recipes, be able to find uh, online, you could actually view the, the spaghetti or noodles itself with the, the flavors. I actually look forward to trying this out with actually some basil, uh, as well as maybe even some oil of rosemary or even something like lemon. I think in viewing the, the noodles itself will give it a flavor that you traditionally wouldn't be able to get just adding it to the water that you would soak your noodles in. I'm actually trying to figure out here at this point as it continues to work how to disconnect the noodles. It actually does come with a cutter, so it makes it so you can easily cut off the noodles once you just receive an insider. Surprisingly enough, it was rather easy to clean. At the beginning, you, sh you saw exactly how it came together, easily came apart, and then I was able to soak it. I suspect it can go in the dishwasher, although it says to be washed by hand in soap and water. After this process completed, I wanted to test the, the fruits of my labor, and I went ahead and made a boiling pot of water and introduced it to the pasta itself. It actually turned out quite well, and I will continue to use this in the future. Making fresh pasta is not nearly as scary as I thought it would be. I've traditionally used dry pasta, but in this case I used fresh and the, the dish turned out quite well. So thank you again for watching and I do hope you enjoy your pasta maker.